I found a book that goes perfectly with our theme of keeping a promise. It's called Arthur's Promise. In it, Arthur makes a promise to his little sister D.W. that he may not be able to keep. Arthur's Promise Arthur ran home after school as fast as he could to catch the brand new episode of Bionic Bunny. But when he got there, D.W. was already watching TV. Arthur, guess what? D.W. said excitedly. There's a Mary Moo Cow special coming up next. Mary Moo Cow meets the Rainbow Pony. No way, D.W., said Arthur. It's time for Bionic Bunny. I'm allowed, said D.W. Mom said so. Please, Arthur pleaded. I'll buy you a new coloring book if you let me watch my show. Nope, D.W. said warmly. How about a coloring book and new crayons? D.W. shook her head no. Okay, said Arthur. What will it take? There's only one thing I want, D.W. insisted. And that's to come to your next Bionic Bunny fan club meeting. Arthur was desperate. Okay, just let me watch my show. Is that a promise? D.W. asked. Promise, Arthur replied. When the big day arrived, D.W. ran to find Arthur. Grandma made me a Bionic Bunny costume to wear to the meeting, she said. Arthur couldn't believe his eyes. He would have to do something before D.W. embarrassed him in front of his friends. Arthur tried to talk his parents into taking D.W. to the zoo. I heard the ape family has a new baby, Arthur explained. D.W. would love her. Sorry, Arthur, said Dad. Your mother and I are too busy today. Arthur even called Grandma Thora. Can you take D.W. to the park today, he whispered. I would, she said. But isn't D.W. going to your club meeting? Arthur checked the time. The meeting was at 3 o'clock. He had to think fast. First, he pulled out all of D.W.'s crazy bus videos. Then he gathered her favorite toys and put them on the couch. He popped a video in and took a deep breath. Hey, D.W., Arthur called. Your crazy bus video is on. Gee, thanks, Arthur, D.W. said. Arthur waited until D.W. started singing along, then he tiptoed out of the room. Arthur ran to the treehouse to change into his official Bionic Bunny t-shirt, but when he got there, D.W. was waiting for him. Surprise! D.W. cried. Oh no, sighed Arthur. I'm too late. Now he was stuck with D.W. and his promise. D.W. heard a noise. Somebody's coming, she said. Bionic Bunny forever, shouted Buster. Arthur felt doomed. What's she doing here, asked Buster. Well, Arthur stammered. You see, she... But before Arthur could think of anything to say, Binky, Francine, and the Brain climbed up to the treehouse. Francine pointed to D.W. What's she doing here? I'm here, D.W. said sweetly, because I know a lot about the Bionic Bunny. Oh yeah, Francine said. Like what? Well, D.W. began, I know how much the Bionic Bunny loves double chocolate brownies. Wow, D.W., Buster exclaimed. What else do you know? I know how much the Bionic Bunny loves sugar cookies, D.W. said. Cool, D.W., Binky remarked. What else do you know? I know how much he loves Bionic Bunny Punch with Rainbow Shortbird, said D.W. No way, said Francine. That's my favorite. Oh boy, Buster exclaimed. This is going to be your best meeting ever. Later, over dinner, D.W. told her parents all about the meeting. I even got to learn the secret Bionic Bunny handshake. Maybe for your next meeting, I can make my carrot layer cake with creamy mayonnaise frosting, said Dad. That night at bedtime, D.W. went into Arthur's room. Since everybody liked having me so much, she began, maybe now I can come to all your club meetings. Arthur rolled his eyes. I saved you a bionic bunny brownie, said D.W. Well, Arthur replied, maybe one or two meetings will be okay. Arthur made a promise that was hard to keep, but in the end he learned he had to keep the promise. 
Have you ever made a promise that was hard to keep?